What's up guys, Venny here bringing you my Weekend League rewards. There's obviously going to be two of these. I've done Weekend League on PlayStation and Xbox this week. And we've achieved the same wins on both, which was a bit... I think when it comes to PlayStation, I want to be hitting top 100 due to my team. And just obviously, you know, it's been my main console. I need to get the most upgrades as possible for pro qualifiers. But it's so difficult to hit top 100. So as I will show you. You have to get 29 wins with like skill rating, which is ridiculous. Ridiculous like skill rating plus 29 wins. You have to lose one game. And you have to uh, it's crazy, but We just missed out on that. Well, we uh, we was at 26 and 1 and then we lost To obviously go 27 uh, 26 and 2 But I still think if I hit 29 at that time, I wasn't getting top 100 So it's kind of like a relief because if I hit top 100 uh, if I hit 29 and didn't get top 100 I would have been fuming but yeah I'll show you the team, show you the team of the week, and then we'll get into the rewards, you know, the re reason why you clicked on it. But this is the team I used. I went to this. I changed it from the original start, and I had uh, 89 Cruyff. But as the pro qualifiers went on, I just realised he wasn't good enough, so I needed to get Cristiano Ronaldo back in. He's a bit more physical. When gameplay's not the best, he's a little bit better due to, like, his strength and whatnot. So, but and Sadoff, obviously, Sissoko there. Team's looking alright, pretty solid everywhere. I don't really know where I'm going to upgrade next. Maybe just for weekend league purposes, I will go for uh, like a Pogba or a Kante here. But apart from that, nothing really like just popping out to me what I'm going to upgrade. It, at the end of the day, any upgrades I want to do is going to cost me a lot of money due to, you know, the the players I need to upgrade. Obviously, if I want to get like upgrade this stayed off to maybe like, I don't know, another like Vieira or something, it's another 500k and whatnot. As you saw there, though, the rivals rewards are dead. I don't, I don't think we played any rivals this last two, well, last week on PlayStation or Xbox. But as you see, three players, pick specials, premium team of the week pack, 200k packs, 125, and obviously the 2k qualification points. Before we redeem the res, we will check which reds are about and which ones I do want. I mean, there's only one what I saw which I do want, which is with Jaldum. This card's looking ridiculous. He's the only one who's probably good enough to start for me for weekend league in this team. Everyone else is looking a little bit dry, to be honest with you. Everyone else is just there for the sake of just f content, really. Like, uh, at 11 Darcy Kane, like, I'm not going to use him at all. So, at the end of the day, we're only here for with Jaldum, really, for the reds, but... Anything will do, really. It's all going to go into the SBC eventually as we get Josh John McGinn. Is it John McGinn? Yeah. He's actually a baller, by the way. In, in, in real life, this guy's a baller. He might be actually decent on FIFA as well with them stats. That's looking pretty solid. But um, in real life, right, that guy's actually ridiculous. As we go into the next keepers, 85 Schmeichel will take. Not really too fussed about these red cards, to be totally honest with you guys. Due to, like, as I said, like none of them are going to get into our team. So... You know, it is what it is, unless we get something decent. Look, there's nothing to complain about. Let me know what you guys do get in your red picks, though. Because, you know, I think red picks are more for maybe you guys who are watching this. Maybe the people who don't get top 100 or elite ones. Good finishes every week. So, these red cards are more usable for you. Where, me, I've got, like, the Ronaldos and whatnot still in the team. So, you know, you get the idea. So, we get the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Let's have a little look what we can get. Let's see if the pack looks better on play, uh, on Xbox as we did uh, PlayStation. Did I say PlayStation? As last week. Because last week was terrible when we did packs. I don't think we... Did we get a walkout? I don't think we got a walkout on PlayStation. That was horrendous. But, you know, you can't really get the best things all the time as we get show you all this. Look at this. This is what I'm saying. 15k though. You can't really expect anything from a 15k, but... I think the 100Ks and the Team of the Week pass is where we need something half decent. Maybe even this Premium Gold Players pack could be quite solid here. Let me know what you get in your rewards. Hopefully you do get better than what I do. But if you do get this, you get a board. No walkout, but it's a board. Not bad, not bad. It's going to have no value, but at the end of the day, you know. Can't really complain for that. I think that's like from Rivals Rewards where we haven't played the game in Rivals all week, so they're technically free, so it's not bad. It's not bad. We got though the 200k packs, the premium team of the week. Ah man, did we did I show you the team of the week? Who I actually I showed who I wanted for reds, but I didn't really show 
let's say the value of these team of the week players. I think Harry Kane's not even that expensive. Where the hell is the team of the week? Where the hell? Team of the week's here. So obviously you got Lewandowski. How much is he saying? Two hundred k. That's not even that good. Kane, one hundred sixty k. Mijaldo, one hundred eighty five. So low key, if you was over your, your top one hundred pack would be awful this week. Compare wow. Well, I say that this week, like last week, my top 100 was awful. It was like the worst thing. 50k for Gundogan and whatnot. So there's a few players here and there what's got a bit of value, but you ain't gonna probably with these elite packs. You're not really guaranteed one of them, which is a bit upsetting because obviously you want to try and make as much coins as possible when it comes to weekly. If you open the first 100k, you get a walkout in the 100k. Was it Uruguay striker? Uruguay. Let's go! 89 new size. Woo! That's nice. Compared to last week as well, that pack has been huge. Okay. What a player. I, mean, I don't know what he's doing on the ground, but you know, you get the idea. We could also get something else decent in the pack. Mm, not really, but how much is he saying? Like, if that's 80k there, that's solid. Eight, 60 to 80k. Very nice pull there. As we'll send obviously everything to the transfer list. Everything else in this pack is looking a little bit dry, as I would expect really when it comes to 100k packs. That's like, if I didn't get Suarez in that pack, that would be like my typical 100k pack. Honestly, amount of draft I played this weekend, I've got. I think I've had like 100k pack, and I can't remember what. It was an awful, awful player. It was like an inform 82 or something like that. It was the thing from previous team of the week. It was awful, to be honest with you. So he's getting to the next 100k. Can we get another walkout? We do back-to-back -back walkout, guys. Spanish. Could be bad. Goalkeeper. The hair. The hair. Oh, oh, my God. Look, he's in. Back-to-back -back 89 walkout. The hair and Suarez. Very cute. That is sick. I was not expecting that. You know, because as I mentioned last week, my luck was awful. But maybe Elite One's the way to go. He's only like 60k, but that's 60k from him, 60k from Suarez, 120k added on to what you've already been given. So what was that? We got given 125k coins, 240 coins just from them. And another Mendy in there. As you know, last week, he was our saviour last week when we got him. Because he came out of nowhere. Our 100k's were awful when he was just chilling at the duplicate pile. So really, we probably made about, I would say... From them packs before we get into the team of the week, plus them coins, 350k. So we're going to be on 350k coins plus what we get from these team of the week. So it's actually from an elite one rule. That's actually pretty sick. I'll be honest with you. Anything like over 400k, I think is sick because at the end of the, you're not guaranteed anything. Are you? So it is what it is. As we get into the team of the week pack, I do not expect to get anything from the week. As you see, a career strike in the English Pirates of 82. See, this is what I'm saying. We're lucky that we got the good 100Ks. Look at this! <laughs> is he worth a little bit just because he's got some actually okay stats? No. Oh my god. 78, 78, and 75. But can I complain with them 100k packs? I don't know, man. Getting an elite one, that's 27 wins. I feel like you should be guaranteed like an 82. But, you know, that's just me wanting to be, I guess, a greedy. We're not going to, we're going to do no look. Because hopefully it's better than that. Fuck it. Honestly, right. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. If it's a walkout, we'll, we'll accept the coin. If not, okay. Have a little look. 81. This guy. No key, okay. The team of the week pack is dreadful. That was actually awful. Right, as you can see. But this guy's actually got a sick, sick, sick card, man. Look at this, man. Six foot one, medium, medium, right foot. And as you know, I love this like Bundesliga hype this year, man. The Bundesliga sweaty teams are looking ridiculous. And this guy really just fits the bill when it comes to like a CDM position. Obviously, if you put him in CDM, he's going to be an absolute animal as well. 95 jumping, he's just going to be 86 strength, 84 aggression. He's six foot one. This guy's going to be a machine for you in your, you know, in your teams. But that is probably the rewards all done. And to be honest with you, 
apart from them team of the week packs, because them team of the week packs sort of like killed my vibe because of how well obviously everything was going. But we get obviously dead team of the weeks, but we get a De Gea and a Suarez and a few 83s and 84s. Everything else probably here is looking a little bit dry, but we do get a Mendy at 80 as well. That all round is very, very solid, I think. Because the team of the week's all awful now. Like from them team of the week packs, what they give you for top 100 and elite are awful. The, the, previously used to be 81 plus, but now you can get obviously anyone, as you saw, we can get 75, 76 and 78s as our team of the week, which is a bit ridiculous. But we have to just sort of take what you're given at the end of the day. Can't really, you know, say too much about that. As a, I think it obviously could have been better, but I, for me, that's very, very solid. I, I expected, I didn't expect that. So yeah bit surprising let me know what you guys have received in your awards if you've had similar luck and whatnot but that'd be it for the video guys don't forget to give a like comment subscribe and peace